Okay, we start this night sky tour off at our local church, Milton Regis Church. Okay, quite a few stars in the area. So if we just turn around toward the north, we should see the Big Dipper, the Great Bear, Source Burn, whatever you want to call it. And there it is. If I rotate the screen around, you should be able to recognise it now. Right, the two stars on the right hand side of the saucepan, the Big Dipper, Plow, Great Bear, Ursa Major. Uh, just go up this way toward Polaris, the North Star. And the North Star is famous because it points north, not because it's the brightest star. In order of brightness, it's actually number 46, I believe. Right, and the North Star is on the end of the Little Bear. Got the bottom two stars there, so if I rotate them around and fit it in a bit better. That's better. Okay, uh, Kevin the tour, back down to the horizon so I can see where I'm at. Uh, keep going round to our paper mill <laughs> in the distance there. Takes such a lot of power, they actually got their own um, power station. And uh, that light, that bluish light, is actually a security light for the park. Um, it's completely invisible to make it eye. I can't see a thing. So this camera's picked it up quite well. Unfortunately, <laughs> depends on your point of view. Right, then we carry on round and we should end up toward Gemini the Twins. Yeah, the two bright stars there, Castor and Pollux. Always get them mixed up to so which way around they are. That rectangle is, is uh, Gemini. And uh, okay, and then to the right, we should pick up the planet Mars. If we go up a little bit. Oh, there we are, stretching now, it's almost overhead. There's a planet Mars, and the higher D star cluster, that V shape, towards the ball, that's supposed to be his head. And above that, you see the familiar Seven Sisters, the Pleiades star cluster. It's where new stars and planets are still forming to this day. We go below that, we've got my favourite part of the sky of all, Orion the Hunter. Let's rotate it round. And the star on the top left, Betelgeuse, is about to go bang at any time. It might not for another few thousand years, but it could go off at any time. And uh, below Orion's belt, you have the M42, Nebula. And that's where new stars are forming. And quite recently, planets have been discovered forming around those stars, as the Earth was some four and a half billion years ago. So the idea of how the Earth formed is not a wild, crazy idea. <laughs> We can see it going on elsewhere in space. And uh, we have Sirius, follow the, the uh, belts down. That is the brightest star in the sky. That is number one. Apart from the sun, that's cheating. But apart from that, this is the brightest star you'll see at night. Planets can be brighter, but they're not stars. Anyway, okay, T1, this way around. Uh, from Orion's belt, yeah, you got back up to the Hyades cluster with the Pleiades, seven sisters. Mars and come down this way, we should pick up Jupiter. And Jupiter at the moment is in front of Pisces the fish. There's two of those. It's got a circular-ish area of stars there. That's one of the fish. And uh, up this way we should send up another picture, another circle of stars for the other fish. That's about it, right in the centre there. And to the right of it, we've got the square of Pegasus, the flying horse. Uh, if I quickly pick it up, it's on its side, so I have to twist the camera around a little. Uh, I'm not sure if I've got this right. Oh, I can just about fit in the field of view. It's not quite there. It's so high up, I can't reach Bob at the moment. Without a deck chair, oh, I'll give up. <laughs> okay, we'll lower it down a little. Too much of a strain. And then back round to Milton Church. <laughs> there we are again. I uh, just finished the uh, cavil practice for this year. Okay, thank you for watching.